Hey, how's it going? And today I'm going to show you how to record a vehicle with the take recorder. This was driving me absolutely insane and I spent a couple hours on it and I finally found the solution, but I just wanted to document what it was. So anyway, we're going to do what I've done before, but I'm just going to keep it simple just to get to the main point of this. So. I'm going to do the simulation. I've already shown how to create this in a nighttime atmosphere. We're just going to go simulation blank and go create. And I'll just leave it called project four. I think this has a lot of potential because if you can learn to control the player character, I mean film a player character, you can tell a story essentially without animating anything. You can just record basically the animation that you've done with the player controller. So anyway. We're going to do this the standard way that we normally do. We're going to go to add and we're going to add a feature and we're going to add a vehicle and we're going to go add the project. And if you don't get prompted again, you're going to go to edit plugins. You're going to do the chaos and I'm going to show you the problem and then I'll show you the fix. So I want you to see what I had to go through today. So, and we'll restart this. But like I said, I think if you could record films, and we'll see, because I in the last tutorial I did, I said what you could do is move the camera, and that's how this whole thing started, because I said, oh, you can make a, a movie by using the take recorder and just filming player's character, but then I realized, like, I when I went to render it out, it didn't render out, and I was like, what the hell's going on? So I got ahead of myself. So I'll show you what I mean in just a second. Okay, so we've got the vehicle in and we're gonna go ahead now and get it set up. And now if I hit play, okay, we're in this brightly lit world, but then, you know, the car is driving around and actually the car gets going pretty fast in here. I haven't seen how fast it can actually go. I can get it over 200 and then I'll just turn and hit the brakes and we get a little bit of a spin there, a little, <laughs> okay, so that's working. Everything's working fine. So now let's say we want to record the car with the take recorder, which would allow us to potentially tell a story without doing any animation. Well, we're basically, we're doing the animation in real time. So what we do is we go to Window, Cinematics, Take Recorder, and then it pops up here. And then for the source, it's going to be the player. And you get an error. It won't record if it's not an appropriate source. So then what we do is we're going to just hit play and go record. Three, two, one, action. And I'll just drive a little ways here, a little bit, maybe like that. And this would look a lot cooler at night in the nighttime scene, I think. But there's just, we'll just go for 20 seconds here or something like that. And that's good enough. And then I'll hit the brakes and I'm going to escape. Okay, and now it's been recorded. So here's where the insanity started. So I go into content browser, cinematics, takes, double click there and watch what happens. Well, I'll hit here. I don't have to do anything. And if I hit play, look, it's re it looks like I've recorded everything I need. So I was all excited at this point thinking, wow, you know, I could use the take recorder to record all this animation and I, I'm, the animation's all coming from the player controller. I don't have to do anything. And what's interesting, if I just hit stop or pause here, we click this unlock here and we double click on this, it actually has recorded animation, but it all recorded it in real time without you having to do anything. So it just seems like a nifty way to get some animation done. Now to get back to where we were, you just click up here on this breadcrumb trail. So, but here's the issue. So I'm thinking I've got the camera selected. I'm on my camera cut. I've got the animation. Everything's looking good. So I was saying, go ahead and render this out. So just come here and I'm just going to leave it on default settings and watch this. Watch what happens. Capture movie. I don't have to save it. Watch what happened. <laughs> it takes off. It basically, the, it's like everything took off. It left the car behind. 
So I was this was driving me nuts. I was like, what in the world is going on? And I tried a million things and it, I felt stupid because I was like, oh, just go ahead and uh, render it out and you're good to go. And of course, that <laughs> didn't work. The solution is actually pretty dang simple. And what it is is you've got to go on to here, have that unlocked, double click on here and go to the vehicle mesh. And then on the details panel over here, turn off simulate physics. Crazy, huh? That's all you gotta do. But it took forever to figure that out. So let's try it again. Let's go, we can close some of this. Let me go back here a little bit. And I'll hit uh, render, capture movie, and let's see if it does. <laughs> I don't have to save it. What? See? So anyway, I hope you found this helpful. And I hope you start thinking about using the take recorder. The one thing I was thinking about, you know, when they have that promo for Unreal Engine 5 and there's that girl that's running. I have a feeling that they filmed that with the take recorder. Because I don't know how you would animate that complex of a situation. And you can see it's kind of being filmed from a, the position of the player character. So it's just something to think about. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. Take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.